Yo, it's Innovate. Um, welcome to Bar Science. Haven't done a Bar Science in a while. Um, the last battle I did was so intricate, I, I couldn't even really explain how to do a Bar Science on it. So once I did another battle on that level, um, I was able to see like the science behind it to where, it's, um, to where it'll be comprehensive. It'll be good to make a video out of it. Because this is my second battle at the gates of the gardens. And so when I do a battle like this, man, like y'all ain't never heard this shit. Like, if you was there, that shit was, like, some professional, like, main stage crazy shit, bro. I had that motherfucking... I've never seen that building shake like that. I ain't even gonna cap, man. What I did at that building... And what I'm gonna do this time is gonna be more crazier. One thing I'm learning about myself, and um, if you write your bars the right way, you'll peep this about yourself, that you develop patterns. Like, I'm not sure, like, a lot of battle rapper slogans... I'm really not sure if they did that on purpose or the slogan just became a slogan because it was just their creative behavior. You know what I mean? You you, you develop kind of a, like when I watch my battles without doing it on purpose, I do a lot of the things over and over and I'm developing like a creative behavior. Like, um, but my creative behavior can change battle rap. Um, man, there's one thing I do every battle. I do a lot of stuff every single battle. Um, one thing I do every battle is I, I use like a, and I'm not saying copy the same format, but just notice what you're doing, but you got to write the right way, which I, we're going to talk about later. One thing I always do is a movie scheme, every battle. So unconsciously, it's just what I do. I always break down like this because I don't want to overdo it, but I love movies. So there's always like one movie. There's always like one sports reference or one sports player name, one sports reference. There's always one reference to my past. Like I don't rap about the streets. I could be rapping about kilos and all that crazy shit. I could be rapping about how long it takes to count money and all that. I don't, I don't, I, I, but I, I use one reference to drugs that just offset it's just it's just in part of my creative behavior. Like boom, when I was da 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 da, da just just four to eight bars, and never everything else is everything else is a power to where now is like I see all the power points. I can't give the full blueprint. Another thing I do, man, is now this now this is deep. This is the real this is the real the real science behind it. I didn't even know I was doing it until this battle. Um. I do one deep ass scheme. It started off when I did a battle, I did this money scheme, but now I do it in a way to where somebody, it's, it's almost like a slow it down, I just dissed you. Like in my last battle, I said, um, how did that bar go? And I was like, then I'm off to Marcus Cousins, wait. Let me see, um, let me see. I say something to I was like, you better watch your nugget, the squad is coming. So I say, you better watch your nugget. And I was like, um, wait. Wait, I just started something. If you pull apart and discuss it, I said, I don't. Okay, so that's how I, I said. I said, because I don't play and I still get in the ring. Start to running. Y'all better boogie. The squad is coming. Watch a nugget. Take his fam out. Put hits on him. Start with uncles. Then I'm off to Marcus Cousins. And then I say, wait, I just started something. If you pull apart and discuss it, I said, I don't play. Still get a ring. Y'all better boogie. Watch a nugget. DeMarcus Cousins. That's the art of struck. And he was like, no, nah, man, DeMarcus Cousins never got a ring. I said, I don't play. And I still get in the ring because he didn't play. But they engraved his name in the ring. Crazy. That was fire. Nobody caught it. I just had to explain. I explained it to him on the stage. I'm like, you get it now, nigga? <laughs> I was I was slick as hell, boy. I'm 50 years old. I'm an old school nigga. Like you can't talk slick to me. I talk that shit to that nigga in real time. That shit was beautiful. That shit was beautiful, bro. But the reason I brought that bar up because I do that again in this battle. I'll let y'all hear it. Sometimes when I probe on my battle, if niggas study me, they'll know. Like that's why you gotta study your opponent. I'll be saying shit I'ma say to you. Every single battle, I've always done that. I'm over 30 battles deep, and I've done that every battle. Promo what I was going to say to the person before I said it. Um, so in this battle, the way that scheme goes into my other battles, because now in this battle, I got a scheme where I say, um, how that scheme go? Let me see. Ba -da -ba. My Kentucky. Let me see. I say, my flow is sick. My Kentucky. Oh, I got to go into the flow to get it. I say my flow is sick. I'm just saying my flow is sick. My Kentucky and approach them and okay, that's it. I say my flow is sick. My Kentucky 
approach them andrew when i'm airing you shit hairy son i'm sit shooting it just to win my flow is sick my kentucky i approach them andrew when i'm airing you shit hairy son i'm shooting it just to win wait what i said was sick when you really dissect the pen i said kentucky andrew aaron harrison shooting it just as twins fire that's fire boy nobody does that and I'm, so every battle is going to have one of those in it. So I, so you got to develop ways to where you know. And that's going to, and that's why I say, if you really you know, if that's that's our battle rappers evolution because we learn from the, we take from the niggas that did it and then we add to what we are capable of. And that's how things evolutionize, man. That's how it gets better and better. Um. So yeah, this is a bar science. So this battle, man, y'all got to watch my last bar sciences because I'm not going to go. I, I went over the process of how I used to write. I still write like that in building blocks. But now I really don't even need the paper anymore. I've, I've adjusted to doing it on my phone, which is good. But I still use um, I still use a few. I still use more than one device. I still use a bunch of devices to write on. I use three. One for one round, one for the other round, one for the other round. If I'm, if it's just a one rounder, I can use two devices. One to write the main shit in, and one to write the chicken scratch in. But the chicken scratch is, is you know, the, you know, sometimes you know you can have a farm full of chicken, but you know if they ain't, you know, if, no, that that don't make no damn sense. You, well, you can have those are the seeds. You know what I mean? You can have a beautiful ass garden, but the chicken scratch is really the seeds to the garden. Like that garden would never be without that chicken scratch. That's why I say you got to write that chicken scratch. Some niggas just want to go to the store and just plant flowers and them shits don't last. You go to the store, buy a bunch of flowers and just plant them in the ground. That's like writing around just straight through, just sitting there, sitting down and just writing. Just writing, like, let me write this round. Okay, I wrote a minute. I'll write a minute tomorrow. I'll write a minute, and I'll finish it in four days or five days. No, bro, that's not battle rap. That's how you make a song. Battle rapping, man, you really got to 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 get, to put across that field to where it's like bar after every bar. People feel that. That's a, that does something to the chakra. That's a, that's a, man, that's a, that's like a monotone. Well, not a monotone, but that's a metronome to human nature, like that four bar count. If you're good enough, you know how to play with it. But you're always going to hit that six. If you're doing it, if you a natural, you're always going to come back to that. It's always going to be an equal. You might know how to play with the odd numbers, but you can play one, two, three. If you're good enough, if it's solid enough, one, two, you can play with that if the punch is strong enough. But you just one, two, three, four, the setup. If your setup is good enough, then you can go longer than that. Like Charlie Cliffs would just give you one, two, three, four. Most niggas give you the one, two, three, four. And no matter how much you diss it, the crowd reacts to it because that's the that's the most that's that's right there at the equal level to where people will accept it. To where every four bars you change the ideal. That's how you keep people's attention. That's science. So, but if you're good enough, you can keep their attention and go longer than that. If you're not good enough, you can you can go shorter than that. But it's gonna be it's gonna it, it don't work. It's, it's gonna be too simple. For battle rap, too simple for battle rap, that two bar shit or that three bar shit without something. That's why I say you got to write in chunks. Like, I don't just sit there and be like, let me write a bar, what rhymes together? The first process of my writing is to, if I don't find a, a, a good, it's either the main thing is a, is, a, is a good joke or a good metaphor or something real slick to say. That's what I start with. And this and, and whether and how, how, how sometimes it goes at the end and I create the and I use that as my rhyme pattern. That's the that's that's my that's my pattern. But sometimes I'll like I'll be like, that's a dope rhyme pattern. And I'll just come up with a joke within that rhyme pattern. So you got to I got that good to where I can do it back and forth. That's why my writing is becoming easier. So your writing become easier, but you got to you got to develop tools and you got to use them tools like over and over. Or you got to you got to really know. Like you got to make them tools tangible. Like they got to be expre expressible. They got to, it makes sense to you. You just can't sit there and walk into the dark every battle. Like that shit got to be scary for niggas. Like I'm about to write this battle. Like, nah, man, it's a process to me. I'm like, bro, like, like some niggas, man, they, everybody, like I'm sure some niggas in the game got bars, man. I'm sure they got niggas and they got stockpiles and they got a bunch of team of niggas that give them bars, but it still comes down to the same science of me telling you that you can write it in chunks. They might get a chunk from this nigga, a chunk from that nigga, a chunk from that nigga, a chunk from that bitch, a chunk from that bitch. 
and and some niggas cheat like that. But I'm just saying, just sit there and write your own shit, but write it in chunks. Like when it comes down to memorizing my shit, by the time I and you you even you kind of skip through that process. And this is a this is the last part. I only I only want this to be 15 minutes. This what makes it so beautiful. Like I'm gonna say my last verse from the gardens, and I'm gonna tell you how I remember the transitions when you in this bar science, bro. When you write in chunks like that, by the time you finish writing, by the time I know, like I can put the chunks together and I know like, okay, that's that's five minutes. Now the hard part is memorizing the chunks in order. I may know every chunk word for word, just like niggas be like, by the time I remember my verse, I know my verse. That's when I know like, yeah, they're not writing the way you could write. They're not writing in battle rap format. They're not writing it in sections. They just writing one long essay. So when you, but when you write in chunks, you remember each chunk, but you just gotta remember the order. And that and that and that's what gave me another tool of how to make them transitions. That's why the real writers like twerking them. That's why they'll always carry the bar over one bar until the next line, just so they can remember what's coming next. You know, and when niggas choke, I'll be I'll be looking at it like, oh, that nigga don't got no transition. Or I'll be like, do he know how to transition? Like, um, like let me give you some examples. I'm gonna say my last verse. Let me see. I don't wanna say this verse, cause um I don't wanna block, I don't wanna mess with the memory of the verse I gotta do tomorrow, but I'm gonna do it. Okay, so I say, my mind is different. He just dug his own grave. You can find him in it. I rhyme ridiculous. These kind of niggas be saying stupid shit wrong. I find it ignorant. Wind and hit him. Come with combinations. I'm a fast boxer. Running's probably safer. I will track ops. Found him up on the stage. That's my transition. Nobody's been stuck this much at the gate since they invented padlocks. I just, no, I just told them off. Nobody been stuck this much at the gates. At the beginning, it's easier. Watch, when I get towards the middle, I'm gonna have to start finding transitions. Nobody been stuck this much at the gates since they invented padlocks. I just told them off. That's how I transitioned. That was one of the first transitions. But I said, nobody been stuck this gate at the middle since they invented padlocks. I just told them off. Comes, I put that bar there because I know you gotta, you gotta take a padlock off. That's how I remember it. Nobody been stuck this much at the gate since they invented padlocks. I just told them off. Get mad if you want. I'm still going to load and draw. This gun will point at them and tee them off. I'm Logan with a broken claw. I remember the next bar because I say Logan the movie. My next mo only got one other movie bar. That's the Good Times bar. I make. I already know the bar because I wrote them in chunks for months, for weeks. But I'm putting them in. Now I'm putting chain. Now I'm linking them together. I just told them off. Get mad if you want. I'm still going to load and draw. This gun will point at them and tee them off. I'm Logan with a broken claw. I don't play. And I still get in the ring. Start, no, um, I'm Logan with the broken claw. Oh, no, that's how I transition to that bar. Because I say he broke his claw like he's broke so he can't play. Like he can't fight. That's how I transition to that bar. I'm Logan with a broken claw. He can't fight. I don't play. That's how I transition. That's how I remember the next bar. I don't play. And I still get in the ring. Start to running. Y'all better boogie. I said that bar. The squad is coming. Watch a nugget. Take his fam out. Put hits on him. Start with uncles. Then I'm off to Marcus Cousins. Wait, I just started something. If you pull apart and discuss it, I said I don't play. Still get in the ring. Y'all better boogie. Watch a nugget. The Marcus Cousins. That's the art of structure. Think about a barber with sparring gloves on. I'll be lining niggas up before I start to punch him. And I just went from the word barber. Like I know I'm going to every bar fire. That's how I transition. Think about a barber with sparring gloves on. I be lining the niggas up before I start to punch. And I know like I got to grab that bar fire bar. Every bar fire. It's like hell is in your face. I scar writers. Every letter is a blade. I'm the sharpest thing to metal at the gate since barbed wire. And since I know barbed wire is dangerous, the next bar is. I'm the sharpest thing to metal at the gate since barbed wire. He's a goner. Peak, that's how I remembered it. I say barbed wire dangerous. He's, going, he's a goner bar is next. He's a goner. Peak performance. After I beat him flawless. Dre, we're gonna need awards. I can spit a free and torch you. I'm sharp with the flow. Who needs a sword? I can meddle with it off of the dome. That's a beetle board. You getting beat for sure. See the score? On the streets, it's war. Get your people torch. The stick will fire and crack your grams over the soft white. I'm eating s'mores. Keep it cordial. Asleep with corpses on beat them more lit. So fire with these metaphors. I can speak in orange tent. And that's and that that's the half point verse. That's the two minute mark of my verse. So I know like, so I restarted. 
So that's why there's no transition. I just know, like, I go into the next star, which is he's a better, I'm a better rhymer. It's evident. Your time's up. My letters hit. Every line punch. Get your melon split. Mess his mind up. He can't smell or sniff. I stack bodies. Y'all better check the senses, because he'll never find his. So when I say y'all better check the senses, he'll never, I bend dope. That's why I'm giving, y'all better check the senses, because he'll never find his. I bend dope. That's, how did I transition into that? Y'all better check the senses. Oh, yeah, because I thought about sniffing dope. Like, like, like senses, like that's how I transition. I'm like, I'm gonna use the dope part. I can remember it because I say, when I say the word sense, I can remember, like, yes, that's that sniff part. I've been dope. That's why I'm giving them bars tenfold. We not friends, bro. And by the end of the show, this retard is getting shipped. That's a shrimp boat. When I say shrimp boat, then I know I'm in water. That's when I say, know your limits. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. That's beautiful, bro. That's very beautiful. That's why I'm a good rapper. I'm not a good rapper because I'm smarter than niggas. I'm a good rapper because I understand the ingenuity of what I do. My ingenuity makes my rhymes better. My process. Let me see. Where was I at? I can't even remember. Giving them bars 10 4 We not. That's a shrimp boat. That's a shrimp boat. Know your limits. My hold is vicious. Get motion sickness. See, that? that's a shrimp boat. I knew the motion sickness bar was coming next. Bro, no, and I didn't write it like that on purpose, but the universe, my bars be scrambled and the universe be like, put it together just like that. Know your limits. My flow, and I say God, the spirit of God. I write, I believe in God. I believe in the Holy Spirit, but I don't force God on people when it's still a universal law. God just allowing me to use it. He still made, all things were made by the Lord. I'm just using the universal properties he created. Know your limits. My flow is vicious. Get motion sickness. Bro, your writings come from a broken penmanship. You better boat and fix it. I'm known for building with the flow and niggas know even if the ocean gets them, I will still come out it well if Jonah did meet your maker. I'm known to flip. Your hoe can get it, but she was braver. Pop the house cleaner. Should have seen her face shot with the deuce. Now I'm switching between the gauge. It's like Brian I was changing the metal when I sent her the meter made. And that's how I remember the next bar. I say, that's the only gun bar I got, changing the metal. So since a kid, I was shooting. We had them bricks. They was moving. See how every bar is a transition. Very deep. Hope somebody learned. I, 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 could, I could help niggas write. I could. I tried, niggas. Like, it ain't about ghost writing for a nigga. Like, that's what QP be trying to explain. He be like, yo, I helped them write. Like, he might ghost write for them. He might be going too far. But you can ask, he, he helped them women write. And it's fucked up for them to be like, I don't need him anymore. They don't see that shit, but it's cool. Yo, know your limp. I will still come out, meet you, man. On Shot with the deuce. Now I'm switching. I'm a genius at this shit, boy. Shot with the deuce. Now I'm switching between the gauge. It's ironic. I was changing the metal when I sent it to meter made. Since a kid, I was shooting. We had them bricks. They was moving. The crystal was pure. Whipping the spoon. This about to be killing them soon. That makes me an oracle in the kitchen predicting the future. So I say the oracle in the kitchen. So I know the next bar is I got that old spice, bro. Cause spice be in the kitchen. In the kitchen predicting the future. I got that old spice, bro. My age is a lucky charm. It's no secret. I protect the pit around me. Not even the dove is harmed. I'm the right guard. You better ask somebody when the gun is drawn. Basically, all I'm saying is I will put you under arms. And then I know, like, I go into the last few bars, my last third round. You know, I break it down in three parts. You know what I laugh at in hindsight? Niggas rapping they mind like they can beat me and die trying. Think baby boy. Follow suit and get jacked from the blind side. Damn. And then I forgot. I forgot. I forgot, like, ten bars. I forgot, like, eight bars. I, but I ain't even flinched. I was just like, it's innovate. Get it straight. <laughs> And I beat him, bro. Kicked his ass. Nobody even knew. I just said that. I didn't forget the bars. I had a lot of I had a lot of material that I didn't put in there. Um, because I didn't know if he would show, because I didn't show him the first. So I had name flips of him that I couldn't remember. And I was sharp enough. And they was at the end. So I was like, if he don't come, I'm just not gonna say him. But I by the time I got to that part, I was like, nah, he's cooked. Like I'm just gonna end it before I fuck around and stumble over them name flips. I did that shit professional. That was a very deep bar science, 20 minute joint. Um, hope y'all enjoyed that. Yeah, this innovate on my channel. I be chilling, man. I need to tap in, but niggas, I, I did so much goofy shit. People won't let me be me no more. They just be be quiet or just be waiting for me to say some shit. Or whenever I say niggas twist it. So it's like, yeah, I, I'm just on my own, kid. And I'm good, you heard? Innovate.